welcome to Top Rope Reality, the new beginning. The new beginning, folks, yes, the new beginning. Episode 160, we are here changing things up. Shaking it up, shaking it up. That's right. Need some ropes to shake. Right, know? that would be great. It would be great. It would be great. But yes, yeah, so we are back, took a couple weeks off. We are back here. We are starting anew with, uh, with episode 160. We've got something brand new that we've really never dived no. into before. I have never. And it's called the Wrestling Mount Rushmore. People talk about this stuff all the oh, time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We need to join with everybody else. That's you know, right. why not? So, but we're, we're not just talking about one Mount no, Rushmore. No, no, no. You can't just do one. No, not just one. We're going to dive into the WWE Mount Rushmore. Yes, I'm going to change it over to the picture. We'll be darkening up here. <laughs> the WCW Mount Rushmore. Wow, WCW. Of the TNA Mount Rushmore. Uh, can there be four people who could be on a Mount Rushmore for TNA? Oh, there could be four. I'm thinking of them right now. I've got three in my head. I always want the one, the one, the one more I got to throw in there. So. The ECW Mount oh, Rushmore. Yes. There's few. definitely yes, four yes, of yes, those. Yes, yes. Tag teams of all time. Oh, oh my goodness, four. Not, only, not only just, just one four? promotion. Only four of all time. Oh my goodness gracious. All time Mount Rushmore for United States champions. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of lists. That is a big list. This one may be the most difficult because there's a lot of great ones in this list. Yes. The Wrestling Mount Rushmore of the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, wow. I know, too. I can put in there. Right. Oh, that's another one. That's three. There you go. Can there be one more? Probably is. Probably is. And finally, we'll do the Mount Rushmore of Managers. And if that's not easy to come up with, I don't know what is. Now, I've got about... One lock. <laughs> well, there's definitely one lock for sure. But, and uh, you probably know who he is. That's true. Because uh, it's yeah. managers and valets. We want to yes. include that it does include the female managers. Yes. And also we want to uh, to talk about how we both are matching today. Yes, which is very weird. And we did not, we did not we plan. We did not plan this. I mean, we my was up high above. Oh, there we go. That's okay. right. We both have Deadpool shirts on today. Deadpool came out this weekend. We both went and watched it. What a great movie. I know. If you haven't gone out to watch it yet. I'm going to spoil it! No, just kidding. No, we're not going to spoil it for you, but it is a great movie. It definitely, in Blood my opinion. guts and cussing. So lots of that. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it, it definitely amped up from the first one. Oh, yes. So, anyway, let us get started with the Wrestling Mount Rushmore. Uh, we're going to start with the W, the W, and the E. Ladies and gentlemen. Slash WWE. Mm. Yes, the one we can't talk about. Yes, get the F out. So, all together, the entire time, pretty much that Vince oh, has yes. had it, is the way we look at it. We're going 50 years of the WWE Championship, so. Exactly. So, you want to go ahead and throw your minister on to me? That's fine, whatever you want to do. So, are you doing four and I'm doing four? Yes. We're not working this together. This is. We this are is, not doing this together. <laughs> no, uh, this is going. This is live, folks. It is we live. Didn't, we, we, just, we, showed we did not the list. write any of this stuff down. No, no That's paper, true. no nothing. So for the WWE All for me, here. for the WWE for me, I would have to go with Hogan. Oh, of course. Yes, Hogan. Yeah. <gasps> brother, 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 brother. Yes. That's right. Trying, trying to get go, back. Trying, trying to get, get back, back into in there. The, no. Why does he want to wrestle again? No. No, he does not. I'm sorry. He's an ambassador. Not even that. I'm okay. I mean, with I'm it. fine with Hogan being gone. Goodbye, Hogan. I don't so agree with it. No, I don't agree with them keeping him out of the Hall of Fame, though. Oh no, definitely not. But he's not in there anymore. They do not acknowledge him being in the Hall of Fame. Anymore. Really? Well, they bring him up everything else. I know they show him on everything else, but they, from what I remember, when it first happened, they took him off of the list. Um, he still has the ring, so it'll be all right. Um, yeah, I know. Or does Abyss have the ring? Ooh, don't remember, don't remember about that because anyway, nobody watches TNA. Uh, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, of the Undertaker. Ooh, so many people, so many people for the WWE, and then Shawn Michaels. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's a very good WWE WWE list. Yes, yes, that's yes, my watch for. Not list. Not list. That does not miss, but it's a Mount Rushmore. Uh, well, I've got Bruno San Martino. Oh, of course. You know. Going old school with it. Yes. Hogan. Okay. Of course, Hogan. Hogan, Hogan, Hogan. Uh, Vince McMahon. Oh. And The Rock. There you go. I mean, and either one of those work. I mean, there's oh, yes, so yes, many yes, options. Yes. And you have your own four out there going, no, I don't know what the hell you're talking right. about. I've got this four, and it's better than your two four put together. Or somebody might say, well, I like two his and two his, so I'll just put those two together. 
Your list is your list. It's That's your true. own. It's your own opinion. It is your own opinion. It's like a butthole. Everybody's got one. So. Uh, amen. So, uh, so whatever you want to do, you take it. You run with it. There you go. Uh, let's do the WCW NWA list. I will do this one, and then you can. Okay. Her. I will start off with the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Of course, he's going to have to be on this list because he would belong on any Mount Rushmore, even the WWE's Mount Rushmore. Right. If there was space, but it's only four, so it's not space for Flair. Uh, Sting, the man called Sting, of course, would definitely fit on this list of Mount Rushmore for WCW. The man called Dwayne Dusty Rhodes, if you will. Very good. Would be on this list. And this is hard. That's when you get the last one here. Of course. <laughs> so many people who uh, who contributed to it. I would have to throw in uh, maybe a little shocker here. Not the Shockmaster. No, not okay. the Shockmaster. <laughs> <laughs> not Uncle Fred. Uncle not Fred phone his head. <laughs> Goldberg. Oh, well, there you go. So that's my four for WCW NWA. So my four, let's go, let's go share a little bit with you, hey, of course. Hey, I, on these, we're gonna, I believe we're going to share on every one of them. Right. So It's going to definitely be Flair. Mm -hmm. I mean, because there would be no NWA WCW without Flair. No. He is the Hogan of WCW. That's right. Um, Sting, of course. Of course, Sting. You can't say WCW NWA without mentioning the man called Sting. That's true. Uh, number three, Hollywood Hogan. Oh. Yeah. Not Hulk Hogan. Hollywood, Hollywood yeah. Hogan. Because when he was Hulk Hogan, they was already starting to boo him in WCW. Yes. So Hollywood Hogan means more than Ma regular Hogan. And made the turn for them. Right. And then last but not least, maybe a little shocker on this one as well, but it's me, it's me, it's DDP. <laughs> that is my four. That was Mount Rushmore. Uh, I, said, I had him in my brain here. I, would, I, I mean, he means a lot to WCW. He does mean a lot to WCW. He's done a lot. And, and Eric Bischoff could be on the list. That's another one. So, well, let's go over now to TNA, and you can start the TNA part, and then I will jump in with my four, which will probably be about the same. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, yeah. At least two. At least two, you got to have the same here. Uh, it could be three. Oh. I've got three in my mind. I'm trying to think of one more <laughs> off the top of my head. So, for the Mount Rushmore of TNA, it's going to have to start out with AJ Styles. Oh, let me take that. Put it in here. Okay, AJ Styles. <laughs> Number two. Number two. The Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna have to just take that. And steal that one. <laughs> Number three. Cause I didn't think about Kurt Angle. So how did you not think of Kurt Angle? He is TNA. Uh, he was there for like thirteen years. That's what they say when they show it on the WWE Network. <laughs> And you had to have thought of AJ Styles. Oh, of course. Um, AJ Styles, yes. So AJ, Kurt, and the last two may be a little shocking to people because of all the big names that came in there. But these two people, I believe, contributed the most compared to the other two I have on there. And that is Bobby Roode. That's a good one. And last but not least, the man who just won't leave. Abyss. <laughs> just won't go anywhere. Well, sir, I had to give you a clap on that one because you got two of mine. Nice. <laughs> Which was AJ Styles and Abyss because the man, he wouldn't leave. He won't leave. He won't leave. He won't leave. He is TNA. He is Mr. TNA. He has to be on the list. I like Kurt. I'm taking Kurt from you because I do like Kurt. There I you is. Go. That's a good one. And my fourth one will be the one he started, Jeff Jarrett. That's true. <laughs> I, didn't even, I, I really didn't even think about him, truly. You want to throw a curveball, I'll throw a Dixie card in there. Oh, with boy. Uh, no, thank you very much. Listen to some of the, some of the podcasts from Bruce Pritchard when he was working down there. Lord have mercy, that's interesting to listen to that talk about TNA. So, so speaking of just real fast, Bruce Pritchard, though. Bruce Pritchard, yeah. Are you enjoying the oh, I love podcast it. I things love on yes. the New Network? I have noticed after that first freaking long one, they did trim down the time. No, they haven't. The time's picked up. Oh, they picked it back up again? The time is picked up, yeah, every time. Piper's has been the longest one. Well, because I believe that the, the first second one... Felt like, one yeah, the first the felt second like, one I felt like was shorter. It was. So but the this, first one the was extremely Piper, long. Piper's been the longest. Because the first one was really long. Mm -hmm. second one was not nearly as no, long. No, they calmed down, then they kind of went back a little bit more. And then they went whoo, way out to 113. It's difficult to just sit there and watch two people just talking back and forth. I know. Especially, 
Well, you know, not this. <laughs> this is different! But the same. <laughs> it's different. Because we, we talk about different things. They're talking about the same thing over and over again. And, you know. Uh, I mean, we could. That rumors and in your window. window. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, anyway, that's TNA. Now we go to ECW. W. I believe I started TNA, so you start ECW. Yeah, so ECW. Uh, of course. Uh, Got to put Paul Hyman in there. Mr. Pauly Dangerously. Yes. I got to throw uh, Tommy Dreamer in there. Ooh. Uh, put Taz in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Shane Douglas. Mm -hmm. four. So we could go a little bit different on ours then. We're going to be a little different on A little bit different. Well, we can't be all the same. But no, 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 no. Like I said, we would take it from, from both sides. So. so number one, of course, mm -hmm. Paul Heyman. Yes, of course. Of course. Uh, number two, for me, would be Tommy Dreamer. So yes. that's the same. Because he was like, I mean, he was like Paul Heyman's right hand man. So right, and then the other two are going to be different. So the other one is Sandman. Oh, that's a good one. And last but not least, the man who reinvented himself in ECW, Raven. Wow. So. So I thought you might. I thought you might want to throw RVD in there first, but. Uh... I mean, if there was no Paul Heyman on there, then RVD, I, yes. I believe, should be on there. But. If there was no Paul Heyman, there would be no ECW. Uh, you run about that. So those yes. guys wouldn't be of any yes. kind of fame at all anyway. So, And now we'll jump over to the tag teams. Oh, that's oh, oh boy, that's a lot of people. Tag teams and many, 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 many years. Probably still going to match up on a lot of these, though. Yeah, I've got three in mind right now. I'm trying to think of one. Oh, and i got to go one. first on this one. You do. Oh, boy. And mm. I'll, I'll may take, we may be taking the first one together. We'll be sharing the first one. Well, let me just tell you what it is just by saying this. Ooh, what a rush! Exactly. <laughs> yes. The Road Warriors is number one. Yes. Number two would have to be the Dudley Boys. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, number three, Arn and Tully. Arn and Tully. Ding, ding, again. And number four, Edge and Christian. So I did two old school, two newer school. So if yes. you say New Day, I will slap you. Yeah, I think New Day is right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get the Road Warriors and the Deadly Boys out of the way. Right. Uh, I was thinking about. Uh, I like Edge and Christian. I didn't like any because I didn't. Wouldn't you know? So many tag teams out there. Uh, the Rock and Roll Express. They have Shabong up there. Oh, yeah, that's true. And yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. Even, even, I'll go with Edge and Christian. It's so hard. There's so many people out there. So many teams out there. The Harps. The, the Midnight Express. Right. New Day, I mean, they broke Demolition. Demolition. You right. Know? So many great teams out there. So, you know, it's just so hard. But yeah, I do like that. Yep. Road Warriors, Tully and Arn, Dudley's. I mean, Rock World Express. And, uh, see, now I threw no one in there, didn't I? Yep. Dudley's. Dudley's had to go. They had great. They won the grades. Style Brothers. So, what is your four? <laughs> I know, there's so many. Tully and Arn belong in there, most definitely. The Road Warriors belong in there, most definitely. The Dudleys and the Rock World Express. That'd be my four. Gotcha. Yes. Um, now we go to the United States Champions. Yeah, but that is my list. So, <laughs> you start. Yes, without the paperwork, it's very hard here. Do what? Without paperwork, it is very hard. Yeah, especially with the U.S. Champions. I don't think of them as much as I do the no. Intercontinental Champions. I know. The Intercontinental Champions, I can name 50 off the list here. Uh... United States champions. <laughs> Flair. Right. Flair was a United States champion. Who was it? Was he one of the greatest though? Dun dun dun. I know. I'm gonna have to do something. Let's go to the Intercontinental titles and then we'll come back. Okay. 
So I had to do some looking on some of the United States champions. Here. Intercontinental Championship. Just a four them out there, but they may like hey, those don't don't nobody won't be belong on a route a Mount Rushmore for United States champions. So the Intercontinental Champions probably gonna be a lot easier. Oh yes. Uh, number one, the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, Honky Tonk Man. Uh, number two, Chris Jericho. Mm-hmm. And uh, number three, The Miz. Yeah. And this is where the difficult part is. Number four. Who could be number four? I was thinking of Jericho and The Miz, but I didn't have Honky. I had somebody else. Oh. So. This might be a little controversial, but I liked his run when he was the Intercontinental Champion. Because of his character, and I'm going to say Randy Orton. That's a good one. Because remember, he was the legend killer around that time. <laughs> yep, I was thinking Randy too. But I was thinking of Randy Savage. Oh, there it is. I heard that now. But I wasn't thinking about Honky. Okay. But Honky is a good one. He is the greatest. So you got Jericho and the Miz. Yes, yep, and Savage. And Savage. Yes. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Honky is the greatest. He says he is the greatest. He beat Steamboat, who was leaving the company. Supposed to drop the title. Brett was in a kind of Mr. Perfect was in a kind of But were they really the greatest? You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, Honky. Savage, Miz, Jericho, Honky. There you go. So we both got a Randy in there. Yeah, we both got a Randy <laughs> in there. Yes. So now you're trying to figure out. U.S. champions. Yeah. Because <laughs> that would, we might have should done some research on that one. I mean, you could throw John Cena in there, but would you, would you think him be one of the greatest? You know? Yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. We're looking at a list of top 20 right now. Hardy Race. It's on my. Okay. For a few years. I may guess. Nope. <laughs> I didn't even know he was one. Nah, yeah, maybe. No. <laughs> maybe. Well, no. it's a different time period. But. Yeah, no, not really, no. No. Hardy race so far. Keep it up here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh, he did have the best of seven series. He did. With that title. Hardy race, Booker T. Two hundred fifty-three days. Wow. Yeah. Hardy Race, Booker T, and Barry Windham. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Maybe that one. Who was that? Which one? Number two. Oh. Okay. Hardy Race, Booker T, Barry Windham, Ric Flair. So, Woo. I... I'm, I'm <laughs> going scans, off the list. Just off the list. I'm going to go... To it think. is for the U.S. Champion. I'm going to go with Ric Flair. Woo! I'm going to go with Rick Rude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who else? Any the list again? Probably. Okay. You pulled it off of there. Thank you, this right here. So two Ricks. <laughs> two Ricks. Go that way. No. You don't want that one? No. Okay. No. Definitely not. No. <laughs> you can see it was uh, 289 days. Um, championship five times. So we'll go with Rick Rude. Rick Rude. Rick Flair. Wahoo McDaniel. Ooh. And keep going. No. No. And Ricky Steamboat. Three Ricks and Wahoo. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Three Ricks and a Wahoo. And then we're going to finish up with managers, which will be a whole lot freaking easier. Yes, it will be. So, I guess I'll start with this one? Sure. Okay. 
So, Bobby the Brain Heenan. Of course, Bobby the Brain Heenan, of course. Bobby the Brain Heenan. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, Mouth of the South, Heart. That's a good one. J.J. Dillon. Uh, okay, J.J. Dillon. So, you got it so far. And, something's attacking me. Okay, and, okay. last but not least, Miss Elizabeth. So, you have Bobby. Bobby. And I have Bobby. Okay. You have Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I don't have nobody yet in that spot. <laughs> okay. You have JJ. Mm -hmm. I have JJ. Okay. And you have Miss Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I will add Paulie dangerously. Of course. Paulie into that. And the last one. Number four on my list. Okay. <laughs> I'm going through what your manager's in my head. <laughs> Entertain business, folks. Uh, yeah, okay, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy Hart. There you go. Yeah, Jimmy. Absolutely. I really can't place another manager that would really knock your socks off. No. Not really. I'm trying to think. Of Not no Oliver Humperdinck. <laughs> Why not? He managed the guy who made him into WrestleMania. Not when he was main eventing WrestleMania. <laughs> main eventing when he was nobody. Hey, he picked he picked him over a bunch of these other great managers. So I bet he did. Same thing Macho Man did when he got Elizabeth. Hey, uh, yeah. Reverse just did the same story. Yep. Well, that is it, folks, for part one. Come on back to part two. Well, it's not going to be the pro wrestling review. It's not going to be it. Nope. Really that. It's going to be, uh, flash it up there. The report! Report, yes. Like it says, it says, uh, news, views, and info to go. It's true. We got views, we got news, and we're going to have some info to go. So, trying to fill all the bases there. It's true. Well, I'm Ioka. And I'm just a cop. And we'll see you back for part two right here at Top Road Reality. That is a really hard Mount, Mount Rushmore to do. Well, the U.S. title is rough. I don't have any paperwork. It's like, Ooh. The other one.